stop it! Hundreds of families rallying to stop school closures in Seattle underscored the struggle some say all districts are facing. We're all on a march to bankruptcy. Some will get there next year, some might get there in four or five years, but we're all on that path because the state is not funding adequately. Educators and leaders from Edmonds, North Shore and Shoreline school districts are now planning a town hall meeting where community members can discuss the impacts with their local legislators and raise awareness of how families can push for more K-12 funding at the statewide level. It comes after several years where they say their efforts got little traction. The time is now for the state to step up. I realize there are competing priorities, but nothing can, we can't solve our climate problem. We can't solve our homeless problem if we don't educate our students about climate science. If we don't educate them in a way that they can be successful so they in the long run, run won't be homeless. Their group is specifically asking lawmakers for funding to fully cover special education, appropriate class sizes, rising costs of insurance and utilities, experience pay for teachers, substitutes, and all coursework needed for high schoolers to graduate. We're off to a great school year. It comes so days after the state superintendent called for a $3 billion increase to cover basic education, noting new revenue sources may be needed. And we know we're a state that consistently under taxes relative to the nation. And we know we are a state donating $22 billion a year of our money to other states. And that town hall will be held on October 23rd at 6 o'clock at Edmonds Woodway High School, Joyce. And Erica, how else can people get involved if they want to? Yeah, they say that they're also talking with other school boards and education associations and say that they're able to help them set up town halls with legislators if they want to voice their concerns. They also say it's a good idea to email your own legislature, legislator if you've seen impacts of these funding cuts in your area. All right, Eric Zuka reporting in Seattle tonight. Thank you.